creating a histogram for numerical data. The shopping time in minutes of a sample of 18 shoppers at a local clothing store are. And then we have our, our list of data here. Draw the histogram for these data points. So a histogram is basically just a bar graph. Um, a bar graph um, usually deals with categories like favorite color or height or different weights. And our labeling down here is the different categories or different responses. The only difference with the histogram is we're creating a bar graph, but instead of categories like favorite color and height and weight, um, we're using ranges of numbers, okay, for our bars down here. So I just need to go through and um, count up for example, for this first bar, how many data points I have that fall between 21 and 27. And if you look here, the other thing about a histogram is your ranges that are selected here have to be equal. They all have to represent the same uh, range or, or difference, okay, in numbers. So this one could potentially have 21s, 22s, 23s, 24s, 25s, 26s and 27s. So there's a range of seven different numbers that are included in this bar. And the same thing here. We could have 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So that's the next seven potential numbers and so on and so forth. So whatever is selected as the range or the, the yeah, ranges down here, they have to be equal ranges, okay? Um, so between 21 and 27, if I look through my data here, I have one, two, three, four, five, five numbers. So I'm gonna draw a bar up to five, okay? And let me just double check, those are all between 21 and 27. Now, 28 to 34, okay? So 28 to 34, I have one, two, three, four um, data points that fall in that range. So I'm gonna do a bar that's four units high. Okay, next I have 35 to 41, okay? So one, two, three, three. So I'm going to do a bar that is three units high. And then 42 to 48, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this will be my highest bar. I had six data points in that range. And there's my histogram.